glorious day to you, my friends. No rohokuta, shia katara, na ito rohota. Welcome to day number 13 of Flow Home. This first light oasis wellspring. Harmonizing Om everywhere. We're for 27 days. We're chanting Om. Flowing home. Back to the first light, back to Om, back to our true authentic self. And while chanting Om, we're seeing what subtly, with no real intention, seeing what Om, our inner being, and the first light can reveal to us about us, about the universe, about our true nature. So I invite you to close your eyes and to relax. Whether you lie down whether you sit or whether you sit in seated meditation, it does not matter. Comfort and ease is what matters. Now let us focus our awareness on our breath. as we begin to lengthen and deepen our breath. listening to the sound of our breath as we breathe in. And listening to the sound of our breath as we breathe out. Listening to the sound of our breath as we breathe in. and listening to the sound of our breath as we breathe out. Feeling how it feels when we breathe in. Feeling how it feels when we breathe out. Feeling how it feels when we breathe in. Feeling how it feels when we breathe out. Feeling how it feels while we breathe, while we breathe. Feeling how it feels as we breathe while we breathe. And while meditating, 
and while chanting and while breathing. If a distraction comes in, a stray thought, a hiccup, a yawn, or we need a drink of water, just as in life, simply let it go and pick up with the next chant, pick up with the next breath. Let it go and simply return awareness to the breath, to the chant, to the visualization, to the job at hand. It's as simple as that. As we continue to breathe at a natural pace, and as we each own at our own rhythm. And a breath in from. Oh. 
Oh.
When you are ready, <clears throat> slowly bring awareness back to the here and now. Maybe invite in some gentle movements. 
Maybe wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes and welcome in the new now. Nara, Atikacha, Suhuta. And the seagull confirms. Welcome to the new now. Utur, Nyari, Artiana, Haya. Shiokotara, Ana Ekiatari, Hacharatita. Ukaya, Nata Karata, Itar, Tatetisa. Horana Akaha. Iriariana Hakira. Utur, Arakane, Iriarada. Shai Akiatiaritana. Katur utana etata. Let me see if I can do this. Kicha ana atur tatatar tititata. Here we go. Nira takara tatiri atatatarati. That's a shot I want. Because when the sun actually comes up behind the clouds, that's where it's going to be. Congratulations, my friends. We have completed day number 13 of Flow Home. This first light oasis wellspring. Harmonizing. Home. Everywhere. Kuturana aska ehiti ariana hastita. I encourage you to journal. Journal about your meditation. Journal journal about your chanting experience. Journal about what Om shared with you, what the first light shared with you, what your inner being shared with you. Three different terms for the same thing. You. The real you. Not this person who we think we are. Not this person we pretend to be. Not this person that wears a mask, that performs a role. Whatever role it is, whatever mask it is, Resting in one's true nature happens through stillness. Apparently, I'm not level. I don't think I've ever been level. Narataka <clears throat> Artukra Through stillness, through the still water, trying to get my fingers in the camera there. (laughs) We've been truly blessed with calm waters at the lake. We're on day number 13. And continuing the theme of going upwards through the chakras and then out on the outside in sync with the cards of the tarot. For the last few days, 
we've been dwelling in our lotus of awareness. Up in our crown chakra, Sahasrara. And death, the death card. Has so many different meanings. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some say it's the death of the ego. And everyone who claims that they have no ego, that is an egoic statement. <clears throat> Niarahana ukutur taietir yaranahira totoro. Maybe it's the death of one of the masks that we wear. Maybe it's the death of who we think we are. Maybe it's simply just the death of that one thought that keeps popping in. Maybe it's the death the integration of that one karmic imprint that we can't let go of. During the hangman on day 12, <clears throat> while in our Lotus of Awareness, we made a choice. We were there on purpose. We decided to delve into the underworld, into the shadow side. <clears throat> the human aspect of that is diving into why do we really do things the way we do things? Why do we think the way we think? What are the things that happened in our past that are causing us to continue to think this way? also making up for past behavior, past thoughts, past words. By looking at it, or by having the energy look at it and integrate it. We can let it go. And this idea To death is anything more than a transition, a transition of consciousness. That is the end of everything. That is going to be blank forever. If that brings about fear for you, maybe, maybe think that it's just a transition to a different state of consciousness. And as we delve into the self, Death is merely part of this spiral inwards. Or in the Being series, it's part of the spiral as we spiral up the Great Pyramid of the Self. Spirit took me out of meditation twice to look at two different mountains, two different pyramids. One uh, about seven and a half minutes, and I think one was about 33 minutes to see two different pyramids of the self, the outer, the inner. And they both went away. They both crumbled because they were both made of clouds. Everything 
in this physical realm is impermanent. Everything. All ideas of who we think we are are impermanent. They go away. They transition. Patanjali tells us that everything traces back to Om, the Gayatri mantra tells us that everything came from Om. Om Bhura Bhura Svaha. Whether we see them as three states of consciousness, three locations, three viewpoints, three observances, or whether we see them as physical locations, Om is the everlasting. It represents, it is, same thing. It represents the divine. Everything outside of this physicality, everything outside of this matrix, this physical universe, And on day nine, when we were in our lotus of awareness, we made sure we had our lantern of our inner light as we delve into what others call the underworld. What others call the shadow. We're merely gaining a new perspective on our true nature. Through the eyes of what some call death. Our inner light. And when we can't see our own inner light, Chanting Om helps to bring about our own inner light. Helps us to see past all the obstructions of us seeing our own inner light. us seeing our own inner light is a part of us knowing. It's part of our bliss when we don't see our own inner light. We begin to believe that we are not divine we begin to believe that we are trapped, that we are bound by the laws of this physicality. We learn to believe that our fears are real. We learn to believe that our overwhelming emotions are the truth. We learn to believe that we are bad and that we are shameful. And we learn to believe that we are all alone. And when we believe it, we start to become it and live it.
But if we do anything, that's joyful. It sparks our inner light. It ignites the tinder that we have. And our internal flame. Burns brightly and our light, our internal light shines. And we start to see and believe our own inner light. This is just one of the reasons why we meditate. It's one of the reasons why we slow down our mind to tranquility. So we can see, so we can see our own inner light through the clouds. And that reinforces us to meditate again and again to see our own inner light again and again. And then we start to believe in our own inner light. Maybe I should have zoomed in. <laughs> And then we start to believe and see our own inner light and start to believe in our own inner light. And our inner light becomes brighter and brighter and brighter. 55, 55. <laughs> you can tell this is not planned. So I thank you, my friends, for sharing in my highest bliss. So shine on. Shine on with your inner being. Shine on from your inner being. Shine on as your inner being. And make it a great day. Because why would you leave it up to anyone else? Ketanara hiso uto uhana kechiara harutaha nisko aya charehe isko urota anini siarata ata hantana kurota dia. Kura ana ira shati Utara kahera No rohoka a Shia kuara ana esse ita Torahana era Kisuro urana eti ariataha Kuro tu una isa ana haya atarati Kashohonar warahaya Isana atakarata aera Uta katiria rina haya Kushana arohatira Hane itia rahana ea Kura hartia rishana ua Nisa ana aera Achukuru utahana aera Sio kotor ana eti tiriara, kasu hukojara, haritiara nahasa ea, huratana irata, shaya ata karata.